Hey everybody, Dare really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Psychopaths Mandatory Happiness. We are playing as Nandeshiko, the female. Later on I'll play the male perspective. Alright, so we are investigating a kidnapping, which might not really be a kidnapping, at least as of yet, because the girl isn't exactly being held against her will. Although it might turn out that way, depending on how things go between those two. Oh yeah, you know, one thing that's driving me nuts about this game, on the game's box, it says, touch screen. But no, the touch screen does not work on this. So I'm playing on my Vita, and I like to use the touch screen because it doesn't make any noise. But if I have to push the button, then it clicks, and sometimes the microphone picks it up, but I have to keep cutting that out all the time, which is really annoying. But, oh well, I just have to deal with it. And because I guess it was initially designed for PlayStation 4, and when they moved it over to Vita, they didn't bother to enlarge the text. So there's lots of spots where the text is like really tiny. But fortunately, I have it enlarged on my computer screen as I'm recording, so that makes things easier. Alright, well, enough rambling. Let me get back to reading. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Haruto's hue was a dark orange color, indicating impulsive criminal tendencies. We did not know if he was a latent criminal already, but immediate therapy was a must. So far, Shiori Matsukata's hue has not worsened much, but being kidnapped will likely cause her a considerable amount of stress. We need to find and secure her at once. Yeah, we need to save them both quickly. Both? Not just Shiori Matsukata. Even Haruto isn't a latent criminal yet. Doesn't that make him someone we need to save too? I felt a sharp sensation pierce my chest. Enforcer Surugi was right. Here I was, already treating Haruto Sato like a latent criminal. That's right. Let's work hard to secure both of them before they become latent criminals. The analysis stated that he would likely become a latent criminal, but we could save them both. As long as he had not become one, he still needed to be saved. I wanted to save as many people as possible. Otherwise, I would not have chosen the path of a detective. To save those who should be saved, that was my job. And so, we, the Public Safety Bureau's Division 1, headed for Sato Marine City, to the place beyond the sea. We're landing! A section of the drone covering the city opened and welcomed us within. For an instant, I smelled the salty sea breeze. Hey, how long are you planning to drag me around for? As long as you can, apparently. Stop it already! Taking such sleazy hollows of me, and now you're blackmailing me! Haruto, something's wrong with you! Sorry, I didn't mean to put you through all this. Even the hollow, I only took it because you just look so cute. I just don't want you to go back. It can't be helped, I have a curfew. Hey, Haruto, did something happen? If you continue to do such things, your mother's going to be worried too, you know? Our parents had nothing to do with this. Study, study, study. That's all I ever said, even though I already tried so hard. Haruto? You're the only one who understood me. So please, don't say I'll never see me again. I'll even apologize for threatening you. I still like you. What? I never said such a thing. You did, I approve. Look at this text. Here's what it said. Once I get back to Tokyo, it's the end. It won't do either of us any good. We'll never meet again. Stay well. What's this? That wasn't me. It must have been my mom. She hacked into my account and sent it. Your mom? She told me I needed to make a lot of friends who'd be useful for my future when I went to study in Tokyo. Uh. What's up with that? Am I just some classmate from the sticks who wouldn't be useful for your future? Is that why she made you sever ties with me? I never thought of it that way. That's why when you popped up out of the blue, I was happy to see you and hung out with you still. Well, that's... that's true. If you hated me, you wouldn't have come with me anyway. <laughs> I guess I was right to come visit you. But I didn't expect you to know my address. Your AI secretary must be really advanced in order to locate my address all the way in Tokyo. Isn't it? I already told you this yesterday, but when I woke up one morning, there was this new hollow avatar who introduced itself. I wonder when it got downloaded, though. You don't think that's a little suspicious? This is what the AI told me. I'm Alpha. I'm here to help you. There's someone you want to see, isn't there? No need to hide it from me. I've been watching you. 
That's creepy. You didn't find that creepy? But why don't you go find her? It's not like you can't go to Tokyo, right? If you need someone to guide you, I can do that for you. And you just went along with it. That's perfectly normal. And before I knew it, the AI led me to you. It was like fate, right? You and I should never have separated from each other. Maybe. Well, are you satisfied now? Give me my phone. I ended up skipping class and I need to call my mom back. I don't wanna. Haruto, don't be selfish. We can always hang out again after summer vacation. I finally got to see you again, so just stay with me a little longer. If you do, I'll delete the hollow and give your phone back. Does that sound okay? Just for today. I won't do anything you don't like. I promise. That's why... Just please. Otherwise I would... Okay, one day. Only one day. But then what? They say that. There's a lot of places in this town filled with memories, huh? Sadomurin City National Hospital. A hospital under the Ministry of Health and Welfare. It was also our temporary headquarters during the case. It was within Central Management Tower, the core of the city. Like its name suggested, it was a landmark where all the city systems were managed. In addition, there were living quarters for its employees, facilities for firefighter drones, and so on. All of the city's necessary services were located here. With a VTOL aircraft takeoff and landing facility on the roof, this tower would more than meet our needs as temporary headquarters. This VTOL was called the Super Ambulance, but it was actually a PSB-exclusive vehicle, mainly used when an incident brought us to more rural areas. Karunomori stayed behind in Tokyo and is analyzing the data from the street cameras and scanners. Her results say that they are on the move in the city using a rental car. Wow, oh, they're so rich. It must be nice. Don't joke around. There's something odd about that. Isn't that right, Karunomori? Yeah, all their transportation services have been covered free of charge. Strange, isn't it? Isn't it possible that it was prepared in advance when this crime was planned? Well, I considered that, but there were no traces of a free pass being contracted beforehand, and his family isn't wealthy enough to provide him with that much money either. We should assume that something illegal was done. Could I request for further investigation into this matter? Of course! It's a request from the cute Nadeshiko, after all. I'll do my best. <sighs> I do not think my looks are of any concern to the case. Oh, I was just trying to ease the tension. And Yayoi, don't glare at her like that. Well, see ya. I don't think she was glaring at me. I think she was glaring at you. Analysis Karunomori was quite capable, but I could not really understand her. Oh, most people can't understand you either. In any case, they've yet to leave the city. Isn't that right, Inspector? Yeah, we checked the routes leaving Sato Marine City. But there were no signs they left. They're still inside. Well then, let's go after them. All of you, bring a Dominator with you. We don't know when we may need it. The way you say it, it's like Haruto's already a latent criminal in your mind, Inspector Ginoza. Considering his hue deterioration, that possibility exists. An enforcer who cannot enforce when it's required is not needed. Tch, I know that. An automated container rolled towards us and opened its lid. Two Dominators were present. I grabbed the one on the right. Do you know how to use it? It won't be an issue. I completed my registration on my first day. I wish the freaking touchscreen would work, but no, I had to push the buttons. Dominator Portable Psychological Diagnosis and Suppression System has been activated. User Authentication, Inspector Nadeshiko Kugatachi, Affiliation PSB, Criminal Investigation Department. Dominator Usage Approval Confirmed. You are a valid user. Enforcement Mode, Non-Lethal Paralyzer. Please aim calmly and subdue the target. A voice spoke from it. There was a profound heaviness to the gun, and when I realized I would be able to protect society with it, its weight grew within my clutches. I stiffened my posture. As an inspector, as a member of civil society, I would not fail to uphold all the responsibility that came with it. This is quite the noisy gun. Can't anything be done about it? 
Don't worry, you'll get used to it soon enough. Also, that voice is directly linked to you, so nobody else can hear it. That's interesting. I actually didn't realize that. Alright everyone, move out. Sometimes those pauses between things are so long. I actually cut them when I'm editing the videos because they're so long. We split into two cars and headed out to track down Haru to Asato. I was with Inspector Tsunomori, as well as Enforcers Kogami and Masaoka. Inspector Tsunomori took the wheel, while Enforcer Kogami sat beside her in the passenger seat. I sat in the rear with Enforcer Masaoka. Being new, I did not have the opportunity to talk with him much, but I heard he was the most seasoned veteran in the division and wanted to ask his opinion on the matter. Enforcer Masaoka, what are your thoughts regarding this case? Hmm? Uh... No need for that stuffy way of speech. After all, we're just enforcers, your subordinates. I am more comfortable speaking like this. So, any thoughts? Thoughts, huh? It appears to be just an instance of youth gone wild. Youth gone wild? There are friends who got separated. On top of that, the kid is unmistakably smitten with the little lady. He probably wanted to make some memories. Yeah, but he's a little yandere-ish, it seems. As expected of you, Pops. All those years offer much wisdom. And that's an interesting opinion, but a call just came in from analyst Karo Nomori. The location of Haruto Sato and Shiori no Masukato's rental car has been determined. That was fast. Inspector Sunomori, the shortest route is now being displayed. Please pursue them. Understood. Now switching to auto navigation. The car accelerated at once. The tablet I held display the expected arrival time to apprehend the target, 7 minutes, 26 seconds. Wow, that's really precise. Regarding your opinion, what is your reasoning for concluding that Haruto Sato harbors romantic feelings for Shiori Matsukata? None, it's all gut feeling. But Ko feels the same too, right? How can you say it's all gut feeling? It's pretty obvious from the things they said. I mean, obviously, he wanted to see her again that badly and he was really upset that she didn't want to see, or, you know, that the mother sent the email saying that she didn't want to see him. He really wanted to be together with her. And he's desperate to spend time with her. I think it's pretty obvious. Yeah. Personally, I think if we leave them alone, the situation may simmer down naturally and resolve itself. Well, if they weren't being led around by that AI thingy. Same here. If possible, I prefer to just let the kids have their fun. What were they doing speaking such nonsense? Also, I could not understand how a baseless reason like Haruto is smitten with Shiori could validate optimism. We cannot do that. His hue worsened, and he fled from the drone that approached him. First of all, I see no connection between affection and blackmail. As a result of his clouded hue, he is thinking more like a criminal. Immediate therapy is a must. No connection, that's... Not true. We can see it! The target's car! Raising my head, I could see the rental car Haruto and Shiori were in, beyond a row of other cars. Moving to secure the targets. Roger that. Inspector Sunomori switched to manual drive. At the same time, Enforcer Kogami hit the center console, turning off the vehicle's hollow, and our car sped, sirens blazing. This is the MWPSB. Persons in the rental car, stop your vehicle at once. The passenger's window opened, and a girl stuck her head out. Shiori Matsukata. Her face was pale, eyes wide. She called for help, but was quickly pulled back in. I retract my opinion. That kid's completely lost his mind. Stop. Do you understand? I said stop. The rental car showed no signs of stopping, but it was only a matter of time till we could catch up with them. Or so we thought. Huh? What in the world is that? That means their act of defiance isn't just for show. The speeding rental car entered the oncoming lane. No collision. It dodged the oncoming cars, weaving in and out, then skillfully slipping away. It, it's impossible. We won't catch up with them with my driving. Haruto Sato does not possess a driver's license. And yet, how? He's had help. There's no reason. Missy, brace yourself. We're going to attempt a pincer attack with the other team's car. E yes Kugatachi, contact Gino's team. 
Sunomori, give me the wheel. R Roger that. Akane Sunomori, applying for vehicle operation rights for enforcer Shin Yokogami under inspector access rights. Voice registration and user ID confirmed. Operation approved. Okay, there's no time to waste. We're continuing on like this. Sunomori, just leave your foot on the gas. Leave the driving to me. But it's so reckless. Enforcer Kogami. Enforcer Kogami lifted himself out of his seat and grabbed the steering wheel. In that strange position, he maneuvered the car skillfully, chasing after the suspect. Utterly reckless, yet it was the best course of action at the moment. Enforcers were actually different from us, after all. As I looked on, I received a call. It was Inspector Ginoza. He confirmed they are heading here. So, Inspector Ginoza is behind the wheel. Though he may not look it, he's pretty good. Yeah, Ginoza and Kogami, they have a pretty long history together. They're both very capable people. And just like he said, Inspector Ginoza drove with a ferocity unbefitting to his intellectual image. Like a dog chasing after its prey, the rental car was about to be cornered. Keep your foot on the gas, Sunomori. I know, I know, I know! <laughs> Inspector Sunomori and Enforcer Kogami made quite the duo, gaining within reach of the rental car. The suspect had nowhere to run. We'd apprehended him and... Or so you thought, again? Ugh! Crap. Suddenly, our car swerved and we spun out, and our bodies jerked forward. A tablet shot out of my lap. Then we stopped right before entering the oncoming lane. Inspector Sunomori, Enforcer Kogami, are you okay? Somehow. But what the hell just happened? In front of us, Inspector Ginoza's vehicle had barely stopped inches away from the side of the road. Slipping past it, the rental car sped off. I guess you all were hacked. Just what in the world is happening? Nobody could answer my question. What in the world happened? Why is a patrol car from the PSB chasing us? You don't think it might have something to do with this suspicious AI that's been leading you around, maybe? I think my mom must have filed a report, a search request probably. For all we know, it may already be an incident. Why? All I wanted to do was make some final memories with you. Why does everyone have to interfere? What do you mean final memories? Are you planning on killing yourself? Hugh has worsened. It's now at a level that requires treatment. What's wrong, Haruto? Aren't you happy? Shut the hell up! Ah, oh, so this is how Blondie is trying to make people happy. In a rather reckless way. Hey, can we stop? Let's just go home and apologize to everyone. If we stop now, they might forgive us, right? Do you want to leave me that much? Hey, stop that! It hurts! I don't want to let you go. I just want to be with you. Please, give me a little longer. Only for tonight. Just the two of us. Let go of me! Didn't you promise not to do anything I didn't like? You broke the promise first, didn't you? You said you would spend the whole day with me, but then you went and called that patrol car. And when exactly did she do that? Enough! Let me go home! Do you hate me that much? Do you, huh? Ever since we met, I was the only one who loved you. Yet, you never even let me have a kiss. <gasps> but, we still spent some time together, right? Why? What was I to you? A friend? An accessory? Or just some convenient tool? Ah, oh, things are not going well. <sighs> Say something! Haruto, you're not happy, huh? I guess not. He looks crazy! Shut up! I'll break you! I don't want to be broken. The living must all protect and take care of each other, right? Yeah, that's right. But living isn't enjoyable either. That is troubling. Haruto, I wish to help you. If you are happy, then it will make me happy too. So, Haruto, what should I do? Then get out of my way. Let Shiori and me be alone. I understand, Haruto. Then I will do my best not to interfere with you. But it seems the people chasing you have yet to give up. The PSB? You could track their movements? There is surveillance all over the place. Our movements are being recorded. Even now, I can feel them searching for us. Do something about it. We're done for if they catch us. Okay, I'll do what I can, Haruto. For your happiness. Why did you choose him? What's with this home secretary? It's scary. But useful. It brought me to you. And we're alone now, Shiori. I won't let anyone interfere again. Stay with me. Just a little bit longer. 
Something's interfering with the car's navigation system. This enemy is quite the skilled hacker to be able to break into the car like this while it's in manual drive. Where are they headed? No clue. All the GPS data and all the logs from the street cameras and scanners have all suddenly been wiped. Even I can't do anything with what's left. You're saying that Haruto Sato hacked our system. But according to his profile, his data processing aptitude isn't particularly high. Then maybe he has help. Hey, what if Shiori helped him? They're close, right? That possibility is low. Shiori Matsukata was calling for help. Also, her data processing aptitude isn't high enough to hack at this level. In which case, there is an accomplice. Kogami, are you saying there's a hacker helping Haruto Sato? There's no other explanation. The problem is... What? Don't leave us hanging! Help me! Is there a problem? The Ministry of Welfare's Urban Service Systems supports the healthy lives of the public. Make a report instead! Aren't you the Public Safety Bureau drone? What are you doing? <gasps> Aren't you going to the restroom? What do you think you're doing? Trying to run away, eh? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Severe stress response detected. Hue check will be conducted. Hue color, Sienna. Immediate treatment at your nearest medical specialist is recommended. See what you've done? We got caught by a hue checker. Now you've been flagged. Don't worry, we won't get caught. Hey, Shiori, running is pointless. Stop! Help me! Be quiet. Don't make me hurt you. That's no way to show your love. Oh man, this is getting really bad. It's like an old soap opera. Is this what they call a lover's quarrel? No, it's a one-sided lover's quarrel. Is this all? Are there no visual records? Nothing was recorded. There's a good chance it was all erased. But the drone's face recognition software was functioning properly, and the audio data verification is complete. Talking about an accomplice that we aren't even sure exists can wait. We need to apprehend Horuto Sato as soon as possible. Yeah, but we kind of have to deal with the accomplice because they're messing with us. They're interrupting. But how are we going to find them? The city's pretty big, you know. I listened to the audio repeatedly and tried to predict the suspect's next movement based off his previous movements. Even without my memories, my mind began solving this puzzle. He fits the standard profile of men who commit domestic violence. It's clear from how he threatened Shiori Matsukata and then bought her here. Way to go, Nadeshiko. So you think there's a high possibility his violence will escalate from here on? Yes. Doesn't that mean things will get really bad if we don't find him quickly? Because such men desire control, they will not leave their territory. They are very likely to be within Haruto Sato's spatial patterns of his daily life. And there we are out of time, so we'll have to continue this in the next video. And they really did just jump right into things, huh? Well, although the real interest will be once they get into uh, Alpha. Apparently he's the big to-do in this game. I'm definitely already interested. Alright, well, hope to see you in my next video or in some of my other ones. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.